What's up creators, this is John Fuentes. Welcome back to Big Films, the home of blockbuster action filmmaking. Today, we're gonna to discuss how you import your VFX pack into your editing software. We're gonna take a look at Premiere. Come on, let's get to it. Hey guys, thanks for joining me here and welcome to Big Film's first tutorial in Adobe Premiere. Today we're going to discuss how you import, organize, and save your Big Film's VFX files and your movie files from your media hard drive into Adobe Premiere. If you are new to editing, today is a great opportunity to learn a fundamental step in your workflow that's going to make your post-production life a whole lot easier as you edit the movie you want to see. As you can see here, we have Premiere open, right? So it's like, hey John, what's up? And um, before we jump into opening our project, I want to just quickly show you something here. Um, here we have uh, what I call my master folder, right? And this is where my entire edit project is going to live in this one folder. And inside this one master folder, I have a number of different folders that is the home for all the ad sets that's going to piece together my movie, like my movie files, VFX files, sound files, etc. You know, so. This is something I recommend um, for filmmakers to use that make it easy to store everything in one place because organization is is the key in post-production. All right, let's jump into Premiere. So the first thing Premiere does is ask you if you want to open up a new project or open up a recent project that you've been working on. And in today's case, let's, you know, we're going to jump into a new project and it's going to ask you to title your project. So let's say for this tutorial, we're going to call this SWAT. MI6. And then the next thing it's going to ask for you to do is designate the area where you want to save your entire project file. And in this case, you can see where the location is pointing to my desktop. This is something that I don't recommend that you save your entire project on your desktop because sometimes, you know, um, you move things around on your desktop. You put into folders and you move folders into other folders and things get lost. And when you try to open up Premiere again, it's going to start looking for the link onto your desktop and it won't find it. So what I would normally do is save it to my external hard drive, which you see here, my master folder. And I have an edit file folder. So like when I open that up, you can see I have a bunch of different softwares that I edit with. And in this case, we're going to enter Adobe Premiere. So I'm choosing this area and you can see that now it's linking to this folder that I specify. So when I press okay, Premiere now opens up its interface, which is pretty cool, very user-friendly, very easy to, to, to learn and work with. So if it's your first time working in Premiere, um, this will be a really quick workflow that you can learn real quick. So I want to jump into this tab right here. It's called the Assembly tab. As you can see, they have different tabs that have a very specific function. Um, Premiere is really good at um, creating this function for us filmmakers. Uh, but we want to start with our assembly tab because it opens up a really big container right here where you're going to input all your media you know as it says it right here import media to start so before you start dragging and dropping your media into this container you want to first organize your container right so part of my philosophy is creating a folder for each and one of my assets like my my movie folder my, for like my movie files um for my vfx files a folder for that and the way you do that in Premiere is you come down to this little icon down here that looks like a folder. Uh, what is called like a, you know a new bin, and you click on that, and you have a chance to title it. So and let's say for example we call this movie files, right? And now we want to do another one here for our VFX files. So let's call this Big Films VFX, and uh, we probably want to do another one for our sound effects. And at least we want to do one more for our sequence, which I'll touch on that in, in a few seconds. But as you can see, you can create a different folder or a different bin for each and one of your important assets. You can continue on with your audio files, with your your um, synced video and audio, graphics and text and end credits, photos, stills, whatever it is, whatever you're editing with, you can create a different folder for it. So. Right now you can see we have our sort of like a folder image, right? An icon of a folder. Like this, this is something I like visually, but if you come down here, you can see that this is highlighted, right? So this highlighted thing right here is showing us the, how this is laid out in, in a, in sort of a folder form, but some people like the list form, right? So some people click on that and they like to see this instead. So these are still our bins to just in a different visual form, but I prefer this. 
um, and, and here in Adobe Premiere, you can kind of size them up and kind of customize to the way you like it. You know, so keep in mind, there's no right or wrong way. It's just your way. So how you feel comfortable with your workflow is what works best for you. All right. So now we're ready to import our movies so we can click on our movie files bin and you can see that our container opens up is empty. The movie files bin is highlighted. You can see that the SWAT, we working in the SWAT MI6 project here. So this is where we want to sort of like drag our clips into this here. So I'm going to just open up my drive Now I'm going back to my master folder where you're going to see how I'm kind of bringing my elements in from this folder. And let's say we want to edit this scene right here, right? Let's see here we have, you know, like, okay, cool. Like here he's waving at the birds, but there's no birds. Like, all right, so we're going to put a bird there as Tupac says, I get a bird helicopter, you know, um, let's see what else we got here. That was my attempt at humor. And you can see here, this is John. He's fantastic. He's a great actor for big films. Um, you, you'll see him around a lot and you'll be hearing this. You'll be hearing him a lot too. Um, but we can drag this in there too. So let's say we take these two files, drop it into our movie file. Just nice and simple and easy. So as you can see here, you know, uh, our actor is working with some guns. We have like a little fight scene, gun shootout scene. So this kind of, is going to tell us like what kind of effects do we want to bring into premiere, right? Like what, what are we using for our film, right? How, how we can make it easy just to work with the stuff that we're using for our film. So when we jump back to our project, we can see here our VFX folder has zero items, right? So we want to bring items into that folder. So when I go back to my my external hard drive and see my master folder pops up, I go to my VFX file folder. As you can see, I have the entire collection of big films here and I'm looking at hmm, the MI6 action pack would be really great for this scene. There's a lot of different elements here that we can use. Uh, let's just start, let's say with the muzzle flashes and I'm using handguns. So let's bring in our, our handgun muzzle flashes. Um, then you can see here also, we want to put a bird up in here, right? Like a helicopter, right? So we can come into here, go down to our helicopter folder and we have all our choices of different helicopters. It's like, all right, we can try that one or that one or that one. Or you know what? I'm not sure right now what's going to look good. So let me bring all of those into as well and drag and drop into our VFX folder. All right. So though there is where our element lives right now. So because I brought it from my master folder into Premiere and I also saved my edit file into my master folder. Let's just say like, you know, when uh, I'm editing my movie and I got to step away, right? And so I got to save this for another day. But this is how, when you save it in your master folder, this is also how you're saving your VFX files inside Premiere. Because since the VFX are .mov, QuickTime files, they need to live on an external folder outside of Premiere. So when, when your Premiere edit project file and your VFX files that you're using for your particular film are SWAT MI6 are living in the same folder, master folder, or where you, wherever you want to save it, but in the same spot. When you close Premiere, I'm going to close it. There it is. I'm going to close out. And now it's like, okay, a few days later, I come back. I want to get back to this edit because I'm excited. I got a festival to submit this to, and I want to get this done. I can go back to Premiere see my project file here, open it up. And you're going to see when Premiere opens up, everything that we saved, everything that we imported is all in the same place. I don't have to re import. I don't have to relink or reconnect any of my files because it's already been organized in the same folders in the same place. So this, this, that this is why organization in your post-production is so crucial because it's easy to lose things or misplace things. So a good example would be like, I remember back in the day before I started organizing, like, let's say this file right here, right? This, this gunshot file right here is gunshot number two. Um, let's say that was on my desktop and this helicopter was in a different folder. Number helicopter number six was in a different folder and I drag and dropped it from my desktop from the different folder. But then when I, and I saved it that way, when I closed it, but then over the day went by and I moved this here 
into a different folder. Like, oh man, let me put this on my hard drive and let me put this on my hard drive. When I open up Premiere again, it won't be able to connect it to my desktop because it's looking for that path, right? And it's going to say media offline. It's going to ask you, do you want to reconnect and search for that media? You know, so having everything in one space, uh, in one container is really crucial to your organization and makes it very easy for you to edit your movie and it streamlines your workflow, which is awesome. So that is how you save your, your VFX files uh, from big films into Premiere, also your movie files as well. And um, so for this tutorial, we, th that's the topic we wanted to discuss. We just wanted to touch on that because our future tutorials are going to go into how you edit these scenes, right? How do you apply the VFX into um, your scene, right? Like the way you see in our promo videos, we want to we want to show you and teach you how to add the VFX into your original footage and then make it look organic, like make it look like it's part of your scene, like it was there that you actually brought a stunt helicopter in, you know, or you, you, you're using real props and weapons and weaponry to create the, the effects you want. So um, as you see, when I drag that video into my timeline, my sequence shows up into this assembly bin. So if I go to assembly, go to my project folder, you can see my sequence is outside my folder, right? So just imagine if you had a bunch of videos like that in here. So you want to take your sequence, you can rename it whatever you want. So in this case, let's say SWAT rough cut number one. And then when you press enter, you'll see that right here, it also updates your sequence title and just drag and put that in your sequence. So when you're editing this sequence and you want to do a rough cut number two, you can, you could duplicate this and it continue on rough cut two, three, four, five, until you go to fine cut and final cut. Um, so we're going to teach you how to take some of these effects and bring it into your scene easily by dragging and dropping just like, you know, just like this. I'll show you real quick, bring it over, boom, go to your effects panel. You want to scale it down and also maybe change the position because our helicopter wouldn't be flying that low. So let's scale it down real quick, you know, boom, let's move it into the sky. And now you can see how I'm waving down my backup, you know, I'm waving, waving down my backup and, um, and, and we're going to teach you how to motion track it, how to make it look like it's all part of the scene here. So stay tuned for our next tutorials. Um, uh, feel free to comment, like, and share and, and let your imagination flow with all our VFX packs that we have to offer you, the filmmaker, the creator, there's unlimited things you can do with your films. So let your imagination flow. We can't wait to see what you got. And stay tuned for our next tutorial. And always remember, go out there and make big films. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Really hope that you enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure you subscribe, like, click on the bell icon so you can be alerted when the next one comes out. Also, when we share the good news of our new VFX packs coming out pretty soon. Remember the three cardinal rules of filmmaking. You are what you write, you are what you shoot, and you are what you edit. So with that said, go out there and make big films. See you soon.